There are many boxing prospects in the world, but none other like Jose Benavides. It's 4 a.m. on a mid-August morning in the Valley of the Sun. Team Benavides is out on their morning run above the city. Riding alongside and lighting up the jogging path is Jose's father and trainer, Jose Sr. Even with his flawless record, Jose refuses to take any match lightly. With his next fight just 30 days away, the team begins to take position for the upcoming battle, September 17th. Running out of sparring options, the camp strategically makes their way to Hollywood, California. California the star-studded pavement, bright lights, exotic cars and crowded streets may seem like a big playground for a young man, but tonight, like most nights, there's no room for distractions. Hey, Junior. In a single bedroom apartment located in West Hollywood, the team rises to a 4 a.m. wake up call. The stillness of the morning drive to Santa Monica clears the mind and provides the team some time for reflection. The enthusiasm of the morning run may be questionable, but it's discipline, not pleasure, that keeps the team moving. The waves of Jose's influence may impact his young fans, but they have a special effect closer to home. In fact, his younger brother, David Benavides, is making ripples of his own. What I'm doing now is we're running a lot more. You know, the diet's a little bit more strict. Well, I think it's pretty good for, for me and my health. So I, I want to start at light heavyweight, then make my way to the heavyweight. Probably try to get the championships and all those weight, uh, weight divisions. Later in the day, training continues at Freddie Roach's famous Wild Card Boxing Club. We left Arizona because there wasn't really much sparring out there. We came over here, there's a lot of way more sparring than Arizona. I mean, there's people from Russia, from Germany, from the Philippines, just people from all over the world. I got the chance to work with uh, Shane Mosley. He's a really cool guy, nice, outgoing. I mean, I did three rounds with him, tough. I mean, he's that he's been a world champion, he has a lot of fights. He's a, he's a veteran in the game, and I actually got to work with uh, Mercito Gesta, which is the main event on the card I'm fighting. They're all really good fighters, um, really good people, really nice guy. I mean, they're different styles. One's a lefty, another one's a right-hander, but one's like really tricky. I mean, they're both really difficult fighters. Working with the Hall of Fame boxing trainer is nothing new to Jose. In 2009, Jose moved from Phoenix to Hollywood to train with Freddie Roach. After a short stay at the wild card, Jose and his camp decided to head home. Shortly after, rumors surrounding his leave began to spread. Probably people are saying that we got to kick out or we, we got in a fight with them. It's, it's nothing like that. We're, we're still friends, we've been friends. Nothing, nothing like that ever happened. It's just, uh, Freddie was really busy with Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao, Chavez Jr. He was just a little too busy and we didn't really get as much time as we wanted to work with him. So we went back down to Arizona. We went and started training at our own gym, but now we're back again and we're here training. Again. Maintaining a healthy diet is an essential part of any athlete's day. The newest member to the camp, Carlos Alvarez, make sure the team takes in the necessary fuel to perform like a well-oiled machine. I just recently got added to this, uh, to this camp. It 
with seven of his dad and David. I love to cook. I cook pretty healthy. Uh, I have a strong wife that taught me how to cook. And everything she does, I try to do. Uh, I still need a lot, you know, I'm still learning too. But I love to cook. Part of his membership to the team is also taking on the task of enduring punishment from the Benavides brothers. I was brought in to uh, help him out to find his body shots and work, keep working those body shots. Carlos, that's his role. I think uh, he's going to be the guy, you know, that's going to be inside more in the ring and try to perfect those uh, body shots and jabs to the body. I guess he, he didn't want to take any more body shots from me and my brother, so he got Carlos to do that. And me, me and Junior really work his body. <laughs> <laughs> now I can feel the shots a little bit stronger. Um, that's why I got a, a bigger guy, um, and Carlos seems to be really tough. Punch comes, I'm the one that has to stop it. So I'm taking that blow. After dinner, no time is wasted. Back at home, Jose Sr. takes his time to study their opponent and find any flaws or weaknesses to capitalize on. No, no tiene buena defensa. Muy, muy, muy abierto, no? Mira el pecho, se deja perfecto abierto, mira, sí, mira. Tiene la mano izquierda muy baja. Uy, el hígado ni se diga. Tiene la mano hasta acá. Mira. Uh, this camp, is, I think, is, is the best camp we ever had for September 17. Uh, we've been running a lot. Uh, the weight is perfect. No, we're not struggling with the weight. We're running on uh, Santa Monica stairs. We're running Griffin Park. To me, you just got to train hard for everyone. Even the worst fighter can make you with Ben. Never take anyone lightly. They have hands as well. So I mean, they can throw shots from all over the place. So you never take anyone lightly. If you define a fighter only by his biometrics, then you might overlook the art in his science, the grace of his movement, the root of his hunger, or the kinder gestures that go unnoticed. In essence, the less technical qualities that contribute just as much to his momentum.